Breaking news, Yahaya Bello replies Tinubu as it has turned into a cold war. Bello tells Tinubu why he said he should not run for presidency. He should go and sit down and concentrate and focus on his health and on his life. He should allow the young ones to come on board. This is all I said. Yahaya and Bello list details why Tinubu should not run for presidency uh, come 2023. This has led to a cold war presently going on in APC as we see that um, Tinubu's boys have replied Yahaya Bello asking him to go and ask for forgiveness from his people because uh, he does not even know what he's saying according to them that um, he has not ruled uh, uh, Kogi very well. That is a disgrace to the very campaign team saying not too young to rule because he has failed his own people. And so he should forget about anything called leadership of Nigeria. So this is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. T but Bello details why Tinubu should not run for 2023 presidency. The upcoming election in 2023 have thrown up various premonitions regarding the potential candidates varying from presidency to all other positions. With the national leader of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC, Bello Bola Tinubu among the names being toasted around. This elite, this exalted position, a response from Gan. Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello is rather causing a lot of commotion. It has led to a cold war right now ongoing in Nigeria APC. Yahaya Bello of Kogi State, who details why Tinubu should not succeed President Muhammad Buhari for 2023, is under serious scrutiny. According to Bello in an interview with Daily Post on Sunday, the leader of the APC would be convinced not to support an older aspirant rather they should support a younger aspirant to take over from buhari senate senator tinubu is one of our leaders and i respect him he said he has played a very significant role in nigerian democracy and has built a lot of people he, sh he has paid his dues and should focus on himself and his family and his children he has raised up now he has paid his dues. We all know and we respect him. I also, I see him as a father. My simple advice for him, it is time for him to allow the children whom he has mentored come on board and take over the mantle of leadership and let us do it to the glory of God. And this administration will seriously turn and things will be better. President Muhammad Buhari has led and we see how the country is. There is hunger, insecurity. We need fresh eyes, fresh new innovation to move this nation forward. Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu will not do very differently from what Buhari is already doing. And so my advice is he needs to give the younger ones a chance. He needs to allow the younger ones take over leadership so Nigeria can be better. Tinubu has served, he has done his bid. And it is time for him to relax and allow others to come on board. This is all I have said that has turned into a serious cold war. As I'm being flaunted on the faces of newspaper as someone who has not led my state well. If Tinubu does not leave the position and go on, go on for it, APC may not have the opportunity to lead Nigeria again. This is my humble suggestion and people are taking it out of contest. So, well, my people, now the matter be this, so, and this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. Yaya Bello is replying, saying that uh, I've not done anything out of place. I've only said that, um, you know, Tinubu should not contest. He should focus on his health. He should focus on things that pertains to him. He should focus on what will move his life forward rather than concentrating, you know, on the on, on, on presidency for now. It is not right for him to sit down and concentrate on presidential position instead of looking out for things that will move him forward. And, you know, and Yahya Bello is saying that if Tinubu contests, there is great opposition that, you know, APC might not win, you know, and if APC does not win, then that's not good. So that's why he's saying Tinubu should forget about the presidency and focus on other areas and look at ways that could find, you know, better his life and better you know him rather than finding out a way 
to come into presidency and contest at all means. You know, Yaya Bello is one person who is also interested in this said position. And um, he has a campaign team who are already, in, you know, uh, rising up to say not too young to rule. This was the very campaign team that Tinubu's group told him, you know, you have failed them by failing in the very Kogi state where you are supposed to be a governor. Yahaya Bello, I mean, is supposed to be a governor in Kogi state, but, you know, uh, what he has, he has not done anything worthwhile that requires... You know, somebody who everybody will want to support and say, well, uh, become the president because uh, being a governor, we've not seen what he has done. He has not transformed Kogi State so much so that we say he, we, we, we want him to come and replicate what he has done in Kogi State in the state of the Federation. It is clear that, you know, he had brilliant ideas, you know, and he could be the potential candidate. But we want somebody who has been given the opportunity and we have seen what they have done. Currently speaking, which governor in the state or in the country is really prepared and is doing everything possible to ensure that the state is transformed? Which governor has utilized what they have to ensure that the people, you know, are really transformed and has made life better for their people? These are things that must be looked at. It's not somebody who has been there and has not done anything. You know, whether Buha, we are not rooting for anybody to be very candid. We are not rooting for any of them. Whether Tinubu, uh, or every one of them, including Professor Yemi Osibanjo, he's been there. A lot of things has been going on. What has he done? What has Professor Yemi Osibanjo done? How, what has he said that has transformed the current situation, political situation of the country? A lot of things have happened under him. What did he do? How did he respond to it? How, how did he take it? Did he affect the life of the people positively? You have opportunity to do something for the people. How did that go? So it's not just people coming around telling us that they want to be president. We need fresh. In fact, we don't want any of these people. We need fresh people altogether. We don't want any of these people coming on board to tell us they want to be leaders. We are tired of these current uh, present people that we have who are really only after themselves and not, after, you know, not for the good of Nigerians. These things have to stop. These things really, really have to stop. We need to we need to really you know get out of this this same circle of people who tell us that they are leading and they are doing nothing but you know just building their dynasty under Nigerians. You see, you know uh, it, it has to stop. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. God bless you. Bye for now.